So I am uh, Professor Prashant Jha, and I'm in the Biomedical Engineering and Imaging Sciences uh, inside the Faculty of Life Sciences and Medicine. I can say that with uh, Anne, I have uh, co-founded the, the Clinician Innovator Program uh, with this desire that uh, as King's Health Partners and all the fantastic clinicians that we have and the wonderful hospitals that we have uh, and the different trust hospitals that we work with, people see a multitude of problems and when they see these problems, at times, uh, even when I was a practicing clinician, I could say that when you see a problem, intuitively we say, I wish this could be fixed. I wish there was a way. And and CLIP is, a, is an answer to that I wish. So I should say that now I'm a retired uh, clinician and, and primarily uh, my primary role is that of a teacher. And over the last 10 years, I have, have had this unique privilege of working with some really amazing people uh, from all walks of uh, sciences and even at times arts and humanities who had a deep interest in healthcare. And I set up some programs internationally uh, in Japan, in Australia, in Europe, in, in US, in India, uh, trying to bring people from different disciplines together and, and solve problems in healthcare. And if you look, my students have created uh, uh, amazing technologies and in the process they are impacting hundreds of thousands of lives around the world, creating employment, creating business value, and, and uh, other than that, the, the real value. Uh, so quite value-driven innovations. And the genesis of idea is very important. It is uh, beginning with my own frustrations as a, uh, as a trainee clinician many years ago, a couple of decades ago, in, in saying this, this gadget doesn't work. I wish there was a better one. Uh, I wish there was a better way to, better technology to fix this. And similarly, all the clinicians I have befriended and I work with always say, can we have this or can we have that? And, and clinicians, A, are not trained specifically in technology development and people who we are training in technology development, the engineers, often need inspiration. So, so this idea originally comes from, you know, meeting these two needs and trying to make something great out of it together uh, to get a clinician who deals with a problem, get engineers who are in really in need of an inspiration. They know how to make something, but to make something that is really needed. So at King's in, in say last uh, last 18 months, I could say if I if I talk of recent history, I can take three examples. Example number one is for the uh, product called Leveler. And this is with uh, three students, uh, Simran, who is a medic in training, uh, Ollie, who is a who was a biomedical engineering in training doing his bachelor's program and um, uh, Helena, who was a pharmacy student at that point, um, all of the three came came together and, and the four of us worked together in, in my lab, which I called a head studio. And uh, we found a problem inside the ICU, uh, uh, sort of led by the ICU in charge at St. Thomas's, of uh, not being able to accurately monitor the level of the blood pressure transducer which is attached to a patient and it being not at the right level uh, creates complications. The second the second uh, problem that we are addressing is with uh, another two students Nitya and Shreya. They are working on a very interesting technology uh, of course uh, working with uh, clinicians from not only KHP but also from UCLH uh, on, on relieving the most common and the most distressing symptom of uh, menopause, which is the hot flashes and, and the anxiety and insomnia that it brings. The, the third, third example uh, that I think I could uh, give you is, is a very interesting team of uh, two, uh, two PhD trainees, uh, uh, one a student who now works for NHS and an, a pharmacy graduate and a neuroscientist uh, uh, working together to solve a very interesting pro 
uh, problem in mental health uh, care of objectively monitoring a patient's journey of improvement so that the right intervention could be done at the right time. I would say that uh, to any student uh, interested in engaging in the program, I would say that uh, you know these are your formative years. And I think one of the things that makes life most important is finding purpose. And if you're really keen to solve a real world problem and learn from it, uh, this is a great uh, place to come and uh, do it together. Uh, we have a great environment. It's one of the few unique environments where engineering uh, is so deeply embedded inside a medical school. And, and they could find a problem worth solving, which gives the meaning not only to just the degree or, or the diploma, but also to finding purpose in life. To a clinician interested in engaging in the program, I would say that if you have a problem, please gift it to us. We would really want to solve it. If you have an idea, let us discuss it. Uh, we understand that you are busy uh, and we understand that uh, uh, you know, not all problems are problems for which you need to wait for a million pound grant before you start working on it. Let's start small uh, and, and at times uh, small things can bring in big change. So bring in your problems, bring in your ideas. We'll work together and try to make uh, the world a healthier place.